Hey you guys, Linwood here, and today I'm going to show you how to do the Sterling Scott Mantis Knot because it is again Sterling Scott Saturday. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a Sterling Scott, I'm just trying to show you guys different various ways that you can knot it because some of the same knots that you can do on other knots have different variations to make this one a little bit better uh, for this knot type. So. If that's what you're interested in, stay tuned, and as always, thumbs up if you like it. Let me know what you think in the comment box below, and as always, please subscribe. I'm going to move closer so you can have a better look, and let's get started. All right, so here we have the Sterling Scott Mantis Knot, which uh, in my opinion is a very regal looking knot. Uh, the thing that I like about it is that it allows you to have a bit of ruching here without the uh, ruching here. So I can actually have a very smooth standard Windsor look here with all of the workings of my standard Mantis knot with that extra bit of ruching there that I can get just by kind of pulling up and exaggerating the features that are already there in my knot. So I'm going to take this baby down. I'll show you exactly how to do it and we will get started. All right, you guys, so I have the large end, what I would typically call the blade, on my right side here. I've got the image flipped for your viewing pleasure, so if you are right-handed, it'll be like following in a mirror. I apologize if you're a lefty, it's still a little backwards, so I do apologize. I'm not left-handed. Um, on my left side here, I have the tail, or the spear as it is called, with the Sterling Scott ties. So um, I will start by just saying that you need to have a shirt with a sturdy collar on it. Um, not one of the like less expensive shirts that's going to have more of a flimsy collar to it, but something that's nice and sturdy that's going to actually stay down where you put it because uh, this one's going to have a little bit extra under the collar and I want to ensure that it's just going to stay just like you need it. So we'll go ahead and get started from here. I'm going to start by actually just rolling my corners in. I'm going to bring to the center with my inner portion here facing outward. I'm going to go ahead and come across with the thin side. We're going to wrap around the back just like so. Wrapping around the front again. I'm going to do this portion pretty snug and then I'm going to bring it up and through the center from the back. Once I've done that I'm going to go ahead and fold this baby in half. Which, by the way, if you wanted to see my regular knot uh, for the Mantis knot, you can go ahead and click on the eye in the top right corner. Uh, also, if you wanted to see my last video, you can click up there also. It'll be linked all up there on the little card up in the right corner. All right, so now we fold it. We went right on behind the back. I'm going to go ahead and keep it folded, bringing it around the front. And when I do this, I'm just going to bring it down a bit. I want to make sure it sits right about the bottom of my um, little portion that I tied here. So I'm going to let it sit right about the bottom. And then from there, we're going to pull over, under, and through. I'm going to go ahead and fan this baby back out. And I want to make sure from here, my seam side is facing outward. I'm just going to come across the front, wrap around and under the collar, and from here I want to pull it pretty snug just to ensure it doesn't lose its shape. I'm wrapping around the back, and I'm just going to tuck up to the back. And you can see I've got a good amount of fabric here, which is why I want to ensure that I've got a pretty sturdy collar on. So from here I'm going to get into my adjusting. And that's where I'm just going to take this tie and start taking it and undoing. And I'm going to pull that baby open some. And yes, I know what you guys are thinking, like, he's kind of pulling that a little hard. Sterling Scots are very sturdy. They've got quite a bit of stitching in here. So unlike a regular tie where I could do something like this and hear popping and cracking, I can literally pull all day with this and nothing's happening. It's very well constructed. So I'm going to go ahead and take it just like that. We're wrapping it around and just kind of adjusting everything like I want it. And you notice when I did that, it pushed this portion up a bit and it just allows me to kind of fan out those details. Now from there, as I always do, I'm just going to tuck my Sterling Scott right into my vest and pull that baby down. From here, I'm going to bring this collar down and ensure that everything is nicely seated underneath there. And you see we're a little off center, so I'm just going to pull it to the side some. There we go. 
and here we have it the Sterling Scott Mantis Knot. So hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. And um, yeah, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. And as always, you are fancy now. Bye-bye.